Hi guys, uh, thank you so much for popping by and also thank you so much for being part of this blog. If you have been following for a while, I want to thank you for sticking around even through all my inconsistencies running this blog thing. If you are visiting for the first time, I want to thank you for giving the blog a shot and I hope you stick around and I really, really appreciate you more than you could ever know. Uh, so I'm doing a video today instead of the usual um, written post uh, because I think the current situation of all this isolation and all this complete madness really calls for a more per personal approach. So I'm not very com uh, comfortable in front of the camera but I'm doing it so we can feel a bit closer to each other and you can get to know me uh, a tiny little bit better. Uh, because we really forget sometimes that behind all these blogs and all these articles and all these internet things there are real people so I'm showing my face today so um, yes we can get to know each other better so if you don't know me um, I'm Veronica I run this Peter pattern blog um, I'm Colombian but I've been living in the UK for uh, 20 years now um, I'm married, I have two boys, teenagers, um, so a long, long time ago, about, I don't even want to say, 20 plus years ago, I graduated as an as a industrial designer, but I have worked m most of my life um, in graphic design, doing graphics for uh, for just graphic design and, and web design um, but re not recently but a few years back I discovered uh, the world of surface pattern design and I completely fell in love with it it's just so lovely to be able to design all these lovely things and see them out in the world um, on products and on things so it is a wonderful um, job the one I have so um, a while back I created this blog uh, just because I wanted to create a kind of record of my journey through becoming a surface pattern designer and also to have a way to collect inspiration and to my surprise people started joining in and subscribing uh, so subscribing to the blog so I started sharing stuff uh, that was in some way helpful to any pattern designers out there and it became what is, it is uh, now. Uh, I have to confess that I haven't been very consistent uh, but I am still very committed to keep the blog going and make it better and better um, every day and hopefully with your help. So in the next few weeks I'll be sending an email, if everything goes as planned, to all my subscribers um, with a little survey that hopefully will help me um, decide what kind of content I need to be creating in the future, um, content, content that is uh, relevant and helpful to all of you guys, to all the, the things you need and want from the blog so um, if you're not on my mailing list uh, but want to take part in all this then please sign up you can sign up up on the menu here at the top of the website there's a um, sign up link also on the sidebar I don't know which side it is um, and there's also a pop-up that sometimes come on the screen you can sign on, on those three places if, because I'd love to have you on board if you want to be part of the of this um family okay so yes let's make this blog the best it can be let's do it together i need your help really because if i'm creating content for you guys i want to create content that is that is good for you so now i like to talk a tiny tiny bit about the current situation not um in a negative way or not digging too deep into all this thing but First of all, I hope that you and your family are all healthy and well. I really hope so. Uh, for me, fortunately, it has been a really, really, really lovely time as I have been, I, I have my husband and my boys at home with me, which is my favorite thing in the world. Uh, I work from home. I've been working from home since um, 
oh my god, a long time ago, uh, a decade, I don't know. So I'm usually, well, I, I'm used to being at home, but I'm usually very lonely. I'm on my own, so having them here is really, really lovely. Uh, at the same time, all, all this situation means I haven't been in a very working frame of mind. And at the beginning, I was feeling very stressed about not feeling or not being able to be as productive as, as productive as I'm always ah, as I always am. So I then started to realize the silliness of it all. So I just wanted to share that with you, just in case you are feeling or you were feeling what I was feeling. So. It's just our brains really playing the same old tricks on us, isn't it? It's, it's playing the game of the shoots and the musts. Um, all these things that we, we think we have to do. Um, and this was such a perfect time to open, open my eyes to this kind of, of behavior. So I made a very, very conscious decision to relax and go with the flow. I stopped. I stopped shooting and musting myself and I started to try to go with the flow and it really has paid off and I'm trying to let go of, of what I can't control uh, more and more every day. And the funny thing is that the minute you stop pushing for things to happen, that's when the lightness, I don't know if you can call it that, but it's, it is a lightness, the lightness comes and you feel more motivated to actually do the stuff the minute you stop that resistance that's when the things you want to you want they start happening is it's a very strange paradox I, I i find because at the beginning of all these i really found difficult to focus i lost all my like my mojo you would say uh because i was like having a momentum and i'm launching an online shop soon and i was having that like i was on a roll and suddenly all this happened and I was completely lost, like waking up every day up and thinking, I must do this, I should do this, I, I need to work on this and finding that my brain wasn't cooperating and that my brain was in a completely different space and I wasn't listening. I wasn't listening at all. It was um, just me like a horse with blinders saying, no, I must do this and this is what I be should be, what I should be doing today. And when it didn't happen, the frustration and the guilt and the all the yucky feelings came up. You know, you, you must um, know this as, as a creative. I'm pretty sure all the readers of the of Peter Patton are creative, so I'm talking as a as a creative to a creative. So, um, you know that feeling. It's just you want all these things to happen. You have a million ideas, a million things that need to be done now, um, and it wasn't happening. And I thought, um, just by pushing harder, it really is not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna flow. So, so if you're feeling a bit stuck, maybe try to let go, really let go and see if you can start seeing things a little bit differently. Uh, is, I think it's a good as exercise to do and um, this is the time to do it. If there was any a time, um, I think this is it. And I see now that I've been given the most precious chunk of time ever to be with the people I love the, the most in the world. Uh, without the usual daily life distractions and expectations and and we get to be to be a bit more instead of do so i don't know if that makes sense it's just me like dumping everything that is in my brain now uh, this is not prepared so i'm just telling you what i think and at the beginning of all this i strongly i really really thought that this was my chance to fit in even more things to do um, so yes it was like oh my god there's so much time so and keep uh, things kept popping up in social media and in email saying uh, more classes this is free take these do these you need to push harder now is the time so luckily when I started feeling that I could actually break trying to do that 
I decided to do completely the opposite. Um, so I realized then, well, I've been realizing for a while now that we don't really need to be or do anymore. We are good enough as we are now. So if you are a creative like me, maybe this is the time to let that creativity shine through, do more of what you really, really love and less of what you don't. Um, I also made you something that hopefully will help you see things in another light and inspire you in some little way. You'll find the gift down here. You can download the, the printable and the desktop and mobile wallpapers um, down here by signing up below. You can put your email and I'll send you the link. And if you're already my mailing list, um, the link to download the files directly should be in your inbox soon. Um, so let me know in the comments below if any of these resonated with you and maybe share with with us what you're doing with this precious time that's been given to us and let's inspire each other and let's just let's be strong let's be let's be happy as well this is a, a very awesome time if we see it in the right way so i'm sending my love to all of you and I hope you, you stay well and stay creative as well. Uh, nice to talk to you and I'll see you soon. Bye.